Welcome back to the Wesley Chapel branch of the DeKalb County Library. You know, turning in a Black History Month essay wasn't good enough to make the grade for some fourth graders at one DeKalb County elementary school. As DCTV's Aviva Hoffman reports, they literally had to bring to life a slice of history. Hi, I'm Carrie Parks Johnson. I'm the leader of the Interracial Cooperation. One day, I was asked by Eugenia Hope, an officer in the National Association for Colored Women, to attend a meeting at Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. At the meeting, colored women spoke of how life is for them as an African American. At Smoke Rise Elementary in Stone Mountain, students are putting down their textbooks and brushing up on their acting skills as they focus on black history in a fun, dynamic way wanted a little bit more emphasis on enrichment, something that they could go a little further with it. And I found that this vehicle of the Wax Museum being animated was perfect for that. Mary Matthews' fourth graders are breathing life into their black history lessons with a mock wax museum. They were told to get costumes at home, to just put together, not to go out and buy anything. I went on the computer and researched my person, and then I had to make it into my own words, and that was my speech. Hi, I'm Martin Luther King Jr. Hi, I'm Coretta Scott King. I'm just now finishing my first traffic light, and now I'm going to make a gas mask, and all these things can make our lives much safer. Black history is American history, and even for youngsters like these at Smoke Rise Elementary, learning about black history and the contributions blacks made to our society, it's an important tool. It helps establish self-esteem with black children, and for children of all other races, it helps them to learn to respect and value African American culture. I think this is very cool because Getting to know about these African Americans really makes me happy just learning about them. It was pretty fun. As the button was pressed, they became alive with their person, and when their speech was over, they went back to being still. Hello, my name is Jesse Owens, and I was born September 12, 1913. Hi, my name is Hank Aaron. In 1982, I was elected to the Hall of Fame. I was one of baseball's greatest players. I had a record back in 755 home runs. My birthplace is Mobile, Alabama. So long. The kids were enthused about sharing their person's story. Hello, I am Jackie Rose. Some of you may know me as a hero of baseball. I crossed the color line when I played down an all-white team. Hi, my name is George Shyston and Kyrie. He is an amazing guy. He also made um, um, a lot of stuff for our community. So I think he's a really um, good guy. Hi, my name is Harriet Tubman. I was a conductor of the Underground Railroad. I never lost a passenger or drew my train after tracks. I helped my African-American family and other people get there. My birthplace was Dorchester Country, Maryland, and I was in the struggle. This special black history assignment really connected with the students who participated in the speeches and with the students who embarked on the hallway tour. They really were into it. They were listening really well. The kids really enjoyed doing this. They even helped us by holding the microphone. Hello, my name is Ruby Bridges. I'm six years old and I'm from Louisiana. I think it was exciting and I get to learn about black history people more. It was, it was so exciting. I remember forever. Each child took ownership of what they did, what person they chose. They got to participate in the way they wanted to participate, not in the way the teacher told them to. Hi, my name is Joe Lewis. I was born May 13, 1914 in the state of Alabama. I spent most of my time in the East Side Boxing Gym. I moved to Detroit, Michigan in 1926. I retired 1949 as an undefeated champion. This type of exercise is cross-curricular. It touches on several aspects of learning, including research skills, behavior, and presentation. They had to know their speech and they had to say it in such a way that convinced somebody else that this African American was important. I think we learned a lot that we can take with us in our, in our lifetime as we go through our studies about African Americans. Black, white, old, or young, that Wax Museum project certainly made history come alive and it's sure to have a lasting impression on all the youngsters who participated. Reporting from Smoke Rise Elementary in Stone Mountain, Aviva Hoffman, Inside DeKalb. 
as we take a look in the library at Dr. George Washington Carver, talk about a lot of work. The kids researched, created their costumes, wrote, memorized, and recited their speeches. What a comprehensive learning experience. Our congratulations to Ms. Matthews.